Kittle continues to impress, and they've got an AI feature, artificial intelligence feature, that you can use to make some awesome designs. So in this video, I've got five tips on how you can maximize the AI feature inside of Kittle. Let's jump in. I'm gonna start off with a new project on the top right-hand side. And I'm just gonna use a standard artboard here, 1200 by 1200, 72 DPI. Remember, you can always increase this to 300 when you're about to download your images as well. I'm gonna click Create, and that gives me a nice looking artboard. Now the AI feature is over on the left-hand side, right on the very bottom. So I'm gonna click on Kittle AI, and we're going to see these image styles, clip art styles, vector styles pop up. So I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough on what this is. What you wanna do here at the top is type in to the little chat window here what it is you would like. And really it's three things. You wanna talk about what it is that you wanna build, what it is doing or what it is being. And then the third part is the style of the image. Now you can either type it into the prompt or you can select the image styles down below. So I'm gonna show you the first one here. I'm gonna type in grizzly bear wielding a sword. And I'm gonna write in the style of an oil painting. So that's the third part. And I'm gonna click generate image. Okay, and we can see here that the image has popped up and we can make it larger, we can move it around, we can rotate it, we can do all sorts of crazy wonderful things with it. So tip number one is to use the predefined styles that are sitting inside of Kittle. So I am happy with this design. I wrote in the style of an oil painting. So I wanna make sure to remove that. So now I've just got grizzly bear wielding a sword and I can go into these different image styles down here below. So I'm gonna to go to image styles, show all, and I'm gonna see there's all sorts of different styles here. I'm gonna try psychedelic, for example. So now I've got that selected. You can see there's a little green square around it. You can unselect it or you can select it. And now I'm gonna click generate image again. So now it's grizzly bear wielding a sword and you can see here it says in psychedelic style. Okay, and here we've got, man, that looks fantastic. That looks like a black light poster. That's one angry looking grizzly bear. My goodness, well done. Okay, so you can keep the text and you can just simply switch out the image styles. It's very easy to do. Okay, tip number two is that when you select your image, in this case here, I've got my grizzly bear looking awesome. There are modes and image settings over on the right hand side. So make sure to look at the adjustments because you can adjust down here at the bottom, the brightness, the contrast, Oh, that's cool. And then also the saturation as well. So you can really fine tune and tweak this image to make it exactly what you want. Okay, tip number three is to check your uploads. So let's pretend, for example, I didn't like this design and I delete it. I'm not happy with this. I delete it. I'm moving on. And then about maybe a couple minutes later, I go, uh oh, maybe I really did want that design after all. Not a problem. Go here to the left hand side, scroll on down, and you're going to see uploads click uploads and you'll notice everything that I've created is sitting here in my uploads. Fantastic. Simply click it and look at that. Grizzly Bear is back in action. I love that. Tip number four is the vectors feature and I wanted to highlight this specifically. I'm going to click on Kittle AI again. I'm going to keep this Grizzly Bear wielding a sword so we can compare and I'm going to go down here to vector styles. I'm going to click show all. There's currently seven vector styles. I'm just gonna click vector art. So we can see now that's highlighted. I'm gonna click generate image. I love a vector. Vector is really good for a couple of reasons. One is it's infinitely scalable. And then two, you can edit the color on it relatively easily. Okay, so here's a grizzly bear with a sword. And I'm gonna go up here to object color now on the right hand side. And we can see just like that, we can change the color very easily. So just as an example, I'm going to make this white. You might say, well, why are you doing that? Because if I change the background color now to black, whoa, look at that. You can make it really big and you can change the color on it. Check out how clear that is. That's a great looking, cool design. I'm going to try one more. I'm going to click show all for the vector styles and I'm going to go here to stencil photo and I'm going to click generate image. And by the way, while this is generating, you can actually change the background color again. You can be monkeying around on the palette as this thing is generating. Okay, just like that. Boy, that looks actually photorealistic. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty scary, man. Can you imagine a grizzly bear coming at you with a club? Like he doesn't have enough superpowers already. He needs to be wielding a sword. Okay, so that is a pretty cool design. And again, you can change the object color here and you can make it look any color you like. 
There's also a border weight as well. So you could actually create all sorts of funky designs here. You could make like a skateboard, kind of like reminds me of like a skateboard design. And tip number five is to use the templates. So this is a really cool option. Don't forget about the number of amazing templates that we've got here inside of Kittle. I'm gonna click on this one, Scarecrow Terror and I'm gonna click use this design. So as good as this looks, you can click on the scarecrow himself, you can remove him, and then you can go down here to Kittle AI and you can type in something else. I'm gonna type in scary ghost, and then I'm going to go to clip art styles, and I'm gonna go here to color splatter, generate image. Okay, and here we've got scary ghost. I can open him up and we can see there, it's kind of interesting, right? There's like a weird background because it's textured, so what I'm gonna do is click the actual template. I'm gonna see that the texture, I'm gonna click release texture, and then I'm going to delete it, click the delete key. That gives me now the ghost, and I can also go here to the ghost and I can click AI background remover, click here to remove image background. And we can see there now just the ghost remains. I can make them nice and big and I can stick them right here in the middle. And instead of scarecrow, I'm gonna type in ghost and down here at the bottom, I'm going to just delete that out. Remember, you can also take the picture and you can increase the contrast, you can increase the saturation, and you can increase the brightness as well. So there's all sorts of different options that you can use when you're working with Kittle. I absolutely love using Kittle. There's just endless combinations of graphical interfaces, templates, and all sorts of cool features. I'm gonna put a link to Kittle in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you purchase something, I would receive a small commission. I love using Kittle. I hope you do too, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and here's another video on how you can supercharge your print-on-demand journey using Kittle.